Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming to you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial showcasing Roger Staubach, a Heisman Trophy winner, NFL MVP of the Super Bowl and Super Bowl number six, and also a six time Pro Bowl in the NFL Dallas Cowboys, 11 year veteran. It's really remarkable that Roger Staubach actually has yet to be in Madden over the course of the last, what, four or five years in Ultimate Team. Um, because this guy is, you know, a symbol of the Dallas Cowboys, arguably the most popular franchise. Probably not arguably, they are the most popular franchise in the United States. So uh, you would think that a guy like this would be an Ultimate Team, as uh, you know, notable as he has been in the NFL history. But surprisingly, I, I haven't seen him, at least in the time that I've played since Madden 25. You guys can let me know if you have seen him in a previous previous Madden uh, or not but going into some of the pure accolades of Roger Staubach's career um, was one of only four players actually to ever win both the Super Bowl MVP and the Heisman Trophy um, which is uh, pretty incredible in and of itself also passed for over 22,000 yards uh, 150 touchdown passes or uh, yeah touchdown passes uh, really efficient on the ground attack too you know if you watch highlights of this guy uh, it's kind of incredible because of the fact that he he was really athletic for his time. At, at least it felt like when watching him, um, just in like practice thing, like in practice sessions. I mean, he was uh, eluding defenders that were going uh, full speed at him. Uh, ended up rushing for over two thousand yards in his entire career and twenty rushing touchdowns. Um, but probably the biggest thing that you can take away from his mobility is the fact that he was able to uh, make passes after escaping defenders a lot, like. A guy like Russell Wilson in our game today who could just uh, avoid guys at ease and, and really be able to get out of tough predicaments. And uh, that's why I think it'd be kind of crazy to use this guy in Ultimate Team. Not because you can just easily maneuver defensive linemen, but because, you know, his combination of speed and throwing ability is something that would really be... Um, sought after by a lot of players both an ultimate team and you know whatever if you're just playing uh, a regular exhibition game against a computer player but uh going in going on into um roger staubach and the appearance right here the only really notable thing i think about roger staubach in terms of ex appearance purely was uh two wristbands and a towel uh you'll see that one in a second but um, if you watch the actual NFL football life of Roger Staubach, it's, it's a really interesting story because it talks about what he did before the NFL and how he actually had to serve um, with the Navy for a little bit, which is kind of insane. Um, you know, to, to you know to go to Vietnam and then come back is like, are, are you kidding me? To play in the NFL after that, uh, it, it's kind of crazy to think about, and that's part of the reason why he's nicknamed Captain America. Uh, because of the fact that, you know, plays for America's team, served, you know, United States, America in the military, went to Navy. I mean, there's a lot of different connections there, but um, really good story. I highly recommend watching A Football Life, the Roger Staubach one. It came out, I think, at least a year or two ago. Um, so it's a really good one, especially if you're interested in learning about uh, the players that created and made up what the NFL is today and were the foundation of it. And Roger Staubach is absolutely that. Um, as you see right here, the high white socks. I always like rocking the Pintos for the older players. It looks pretty authentic to what you know any cleats would look like in the 70s, 60s, 80s, whatever. Uh, the wristbands, the helmet, also really old with a two-bar, long sleeves, number 12. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty clean in my opinion. Now we get into the actual ratings of Roger Staubach. And this is always where things get extremely subjective because, uh, to my knowledge, Staubach hasn't been in a video game, at least not in a, you know, recent one so i had to make these up on the fly they're completely subjective again i've mentioned this in previous many different madden, madden player creation tutorial videos if you are uh, an absolute uh, master at knowing the ins and outs of each individual player in nfl history and what they were good at uh, regardless of the time period feel free to change these numbers as much as you would like i really it doesn't make a difference to me it's just sort of a little bit of what i kind of thought and uh, it's tough to judge, to be honest. I think that you would have to go into some pretty in-depth deep research to actually, um, you know, specifically get the numbers that you would want for each per particular category. But I just kind of ballparked it a little bit based on what guys have talked about and what um, you see in highlights uh, about Roger Staubach. So um, 
But that's basically it for Roger Staubach. I still can't believe he's not an ultimate team or hasn't been a Madden. He's an absolute legend, um, an incredible quarterback. Many people consider him to be one of the guys that they would take over any quarterback ever in a tough situation or in a clutch situation when you need a guy most to put up results on the field and drive downfield. So that's just even greater praise. And you have you talk about comparing him like to guys like Joe Montana, Peyton Manning, uh, you know, Tom Brady, those type of players. So uh, great praise, great player. Uh, it was really fun to do this video. So that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden player creation tutorials. Feel free to leave a comment uh, criticizing this video or whatever you want, any suggestions for future players. Um, I'm definitely open to it. I absolutely love interacting with anybody who likes to make comments on my videos and leave feedback. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.